Welcome. In this module, we're going to take a look at CIS Control 12, Boundary Defense or Edge Perimeter Device Defense Part 2. Now, these are the CIS controls. This is the overall dashboard for version 7, as we have taken a look. And this is the system entity relationship diagram, which we already discussed in the last module. And as you can see, uh, there are uh, different mechanisms like network monitoring system, IDS, IPS, network device management system, multi-factor authentication and configuration enforcement system we should use to manage these edge devices. Now, control 12.5 tells us configure monitoring systems to record network packets. Configure monitoring systems to record network packets passing through the boundary at each of the organization's network boundaries. And this uh, monitoring system can be a logging system, which uh, is monitoring all of the packets and is logging all of that traffic so that once we have an incident or once we need to uh, look at the traffic patterns or we need to look at uh, any particular event in more detail or do a drill down, then that configuration monitoring system is able to provide us the necessary information. Deploy network based IDS sensor. So, IDS is intrusion detection system, which is able to, uh, which works in concert with an IPS, intrusion prevention system, and it's, it's installed usually not in line, but it's installed um, and, and it is given a copy of all the packets, and it's not in line, and the intrusion detection system is able to detect and uh, ascertain if there are malicious packets or there is malicious traffic that is trying to enter the firewall. So deploy network-based intrusion detection systems sensors to look for unusual attack mechanisms and detect compromise of these systems at each of the organization's network boundaries. 12.7 tells us deploy network-based intrusion prevention system, which is, the, uh, which is the other product, IDS and IPS. And IPS usually sits in line and will try to block malicious traffic in line. So deploy network-based intrusion prevention systems to block malicious network traffic at each of the organization's network boundaries. And now this needs to be done in real time. So you need a next generation firewall with IPS capability, for example. And then the last one, 12.8, is deploy NetFlow collection on networking boundary devices and enable the collection of NetFlow and logging data on all network boundary devices. And NetFlow, by the way, is a Cisco feature. And uh, if you have, if you're running Juniper or any other network device, firewall or, or, or any other feature, and you would have a advanced uh, log collection um, and, and a reporting system which is able to provide the monitoring capability for you or is able to create the events for you and is able to create the dashboard for you so that you can view the entire set of events and activities. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.